Yeah. Right. Let me show you one thing before you leave. Right, one thing. He told you you were the Israelites according to the Bible, right? Yeah. How we get here on, on American soul? How we get here? Deuteronomy 28 68. How did, how did I, I say it, we, how did our ancestors get to America? Yeah. You don't know? Well, you know? Some through slavery. How? What, what mode of transportation? What did, say that again? Boat. On a boat, right? Is that in the Bible, sis? Is that and he said we came over to this land on a boat. Is that in the Bible? Yeah. All praises. Can you tell me where in the Bible? No. I'm gonna show you in the Bible that this Bible talking. It's okay, sis. Yeah, I'm not your enemy. I love you, sis. I love this brother. I love this brother. Right? Watch this. I'm gonna show you that we are the real Jews. This Bible is talking about you and your people, not them white pasty people over there in Palestine wearing Abraham Lincoln hats and putting dandelion and humping a, a wall. Right. That's not. That's not the Jews. Glory you are because of these curses. Read. This is the Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Verse 15. I'm going to show you what happened because we have religion and churches in our community. This Bible is not a religious book. That's right. It is a book of history and organization, order. Read. Deal with us, man. This is the book of Deuteronomy, deal chapter with us. Eight, 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God Read. to observe, to do all his commandments. Not be a Baptist, not be a Presbyterian, but do his laws and commandments. Read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, Read. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. The Jews will be cursed as a race of people if they didn't keep God's commandments. Now I'm going to show you one curse. Remember, he said we came over here on boats, right? Curse as shall you be as a race of people for not listening to God. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. When you look up the etymology of the word Egypt, it means bondage or slavery. God said, because he just took them out of slavery to the Egyptians. He said, if you broke my commandments, you'll be cursed as a race of people. And one of those curses is you will go into slavery, read, with ships. Or what? With ships. With slave ships, read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, read. thou shalt see it no more again. Your homeland, your identity, your customs, you're not going to see those things again. Read. And there, and there, like in Richmond, Virginia, downtown in Shaco Bottom, there's a slave auction block. That's right. There, once you get off those ships, read, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You're going to be sold for what? Bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. That's what the Bible says. That's right. Now, I'm going to ask you a question, sir. Who did that happen to? Did that happen to them Jews over there in Palestine, humping a wall, call themselves Jewish, that own Hollywood and the entertainment and the media and the sports teams and, and the, the banks? Did that did they ever go into slavery on slave ships? They probably been slaves. No. No, they have not. If, if okay, if they have, show me or tell me when in history those people have been slaves. They probably have been slaves. When? Because this, everybody know about this. Don't nobody know about those people being slaves. That's right. I'm sure it's happened. It, it hasn't happened. As you know what happened? They funded your slavery. Right. right. Then they took your identity and called them you okay. and you niggas. So, so all did that happen now? First Thessalonians right. Good, good question. So. Now what? I mean, I know all the slavery thing. I see the man being slave and, and all this going on. I good. prefer not to be put on camera. Right. I got you. I got you. But, but, but now what? So, now what? So Very good. Because you still got white supremacy and it's still right. I'm going to show you how to get Hold rid on, of it. Listen, listen. I'm and listening. It, and it rules everything. And, yeah. And all. Because we jacked up. In all areas. Right. You know why? Read verse 43. I'm going to show see, you why. Remember. But, but even if we know why, so what? Now what? I, I got you. You got to give me a chance to answer, right? Go ahead. Now, you said white people rule everything, right? They, verse no, they, they rule the world. Yeah, they do. They do. Period. Read, read so, that. And it, so, so, come on, and bro. The, you got to let me answer the question, man. Yeah. I, I got you. I see the wheels right. turning. I like it. I like it. I like it. But you got to gotta be patient with me, all right? Go read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 43. Read. The stranger... That is within thee. You listening? Shall get up above thee very high. So the Jews the, said the stranger will get up very high. Read. And thou shall come down very low. And you're going to come to the bottom of society. He going to rule the top. You're going to be on the bottom. Read. Right. He shall lend to thee. He going to, one of these curses is, this person is going to lend to you. Read. And thou shall not lend to him. Because he own everything. You can't give him anything. So, uh, Job 9 and 24. Now, the Bible calls them wicked. The Bring solution, keep the commandments of God. Because right. 
Let me ask you. The solution, hold on, I'm going to get you a question. The solution is keep the commandments of God because breaking the commandments of God is why that happened. That's right. That's the solution. So all this killing that be happening around here, all this dope pushing that be happening around here, all these baby mamas and baby daddies that's getting created around here, stop doing that. That's right. And those things will stop happening. That's right. That's how it stops. That's the solution, right? Now, read this. This is the book of Job, chapter 9, verse 24. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. The Bible says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked, meaning very evil people. These people so damn evil, they pollute water. That's right. right. These people so damn evil, they now push an LGBT in your children's school. Bring it out. They so damn evil, they said they created and manufactured a whole damn virus. Bring it out. That they got a patent on just so they can give you a damn shot to say we got the cure. But you created the damn thing. Bring it out. Now you got the cure. That's evil people. The right. Bible says the earth is what? Given into the hands of the wicked. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Why? Because the righteous sinned against God. That's right. right. So because the righteous sinned, God had to punish them like you'll punish your children. Right. Since y'all hate each other, y'all want to kill each other and murder each other and rob each other. I'm going to give you over to, since you've shown each other hatred, I'm going to make a people that hate your guts rule over you now as a punishment. Read. The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Read. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. The judges are the Israelites. For example, the Bible describes Christ as black. They said he's white now. In 20 years, Martin Luther King might be white. In 20 years, Malcolm X might be white. Anybody that rose up and did anything good, he calls himself that. That's why when you look at the movies, he, he the last of the Mohicans. Right. He the last samurai. Right. He, the la he, the, he the Mexican. Right. He all the, so you mean to tell me the white man is all these people? How are all these people? How are every brown person on the planet? He dancing with wolves, he doing all that Bring stuff. Come on now, read. If not, where? If this person ain't the wicked, read. And who is he? Who is he? What person that created the nuclear bomb? Bring it out. That's an evil thing. You done created a bomb that could destroy and wipe out the earth. What type of person does that but an evil person? The Bible says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Why? Because the righteous forsook God. Bring so the solution to our problem, sir, is keep the commandments. Give me, uh, uh, give me uh, uh, Isaiah 59 and verse 1. Watch this. Watch this. And then we're going to get uh, Acts 3 and 19. I'm going to show you the solution. Remember, breaking the commandments causes us to be cursed. So what will make us be blessed? Read. What, what, what commandments? What commandments? I'll show you a commandment. Because it ain't the Ten Commandments. It, it absolutely is the Ten Commandments. And it's not just ten. The Ten Commandments is what you... The, hold on. The Ten Commandments is what you would call umbrella commandments. For example, in, in America's law, there's something called the Bill of Rights. Right? But under those 10 Bill of Rights, there are sub-statutes, amendments, sub-laws. There's thousands of laws that fall under one of those 10 Bill of Rights. That's right. right? So the Ten Commandments is like those 10 Bill of Rights. Matter of fact, the whole judicial system That's right. is based off of the Bible. That's Bring why it's it called the judicial system. Because right? it's based off of the laws thought, of the Jews. But I, but I thought it was only five commandments you got. No, it, it, it's a lot more of them, right? Yeah, it, but I'm going to show you a commandment. I'm going to show you a commandment, right? So let me ask you this. As I was driving up, several men had pistols or assault. They, they like the army out here for each other. Give me that Nexus 20. I'm going to show you a law. But that's their right. Though. That's, that, that's their right to have it. It ain't their right to kill their own people. That's right. That's not a right. Bring that's it out. stupid as hell. We poor around here. We broke. Why rob and kill people that look like you? Bring it out. If I, I, I guarantee you it's kids riding around here that's hungry. They ain't got no clothes. They ain't got no education. And then we got monsters riding around here with guns. Where they can shoot at each other and accidentally kill a baby that ain't got no food at Bring home. Bring it out. But they ain't got no clothes at home. That's not a right. That's crazy as hell. Our people crazy as hell. Read. <laughs> this is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 13. Read. Thou shalt not kill. God said for not keeping that law, you cursed as a race of people. That's a commandment. That's a commandment. Thou shalt That's not kill. You know how better this community will be if that one law, I guarantee you, when we leave here, somebody going to die around here today. Guaranteed. And why? Over some, probably over one of, one of a few things. Drugs, somebody sticking their penis in somebody they ain't supposed to. Or money. Or money. Everybody know that. Right. But why? Give me another law. If somebody don't got to die for sticking their penis in somebody, if you kept this law, read. Verse 14. Thou shalt not commit adultery. That's a law. 
You don't got to kill if somebody not sticking their penis in a woman that don't belong to them. Or maybe it's money. Maybe I hate what this nigga got because he's he shining. He pumping all the dope in the hood. He got shoes. Read the next one. Read. Thou shall not steal. Read. Thou shall not bear false witness. Last one. Last one. Thou shall not covet. Covet means lust after. Like you have a very nice bike. If I covet that thing, I might kill you for that bike. Right. Like, oh, you might got too much money. If I covered that and I feel like you stunting on me, I'm hating on you, now I might kill you for your money. We just named three. Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not commit adultery, thou shalt not covet. If this entire project kept just those three, Bring it, out. it would do a magnificent change in this community. What? Just those three. Read that last one. Covet. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. So if you got a nice house, I shouldn't cover that. I should say, hey, man. You, you live in Lodge, man. Help me out, man. How did, how did you do that? What Bring did you it do? out. Share your secrets with me, man. Maybe I need to get my hustle up. Read? A righteous hustle, not selling dope. That's not hustling. I, I, I can't stand when people say, I'm out, I'm out. what you doing? Man, I'm working. Working? Dope? You don't work to sell dope. That shit sells itself. That's right. All you got to do is get them strung out. That's right. All you got to do is get them strung out and just post up. And they going to come and find you. That's not work. That's lazy. Read? Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife. You shouldn't covet your neighbor's wife, meaning want to sleep with her. Read. Nor his manservant. Nor if he, if he got a, a, a business and he got employees, you shouldn't cover his employees. Read. Nor his maidservant. Same thing. Nor his ox or his ass. That's going into business, trading. Read. Nor anything. Nor what? Nor anything. Nor anything that is thy neighbor. That belongs to your neighbor. Guess what? Y'all neighbors out here. That's right. And everybody out here coveting, stealing, killing, sleeping with each other lady, or sleeping with each other man, lying, and a whole bunch of commandments that God said if you broke them, y'all going, y'all going to be cursed. Leviticus 19, 17. I'm going to show you another law, right? Because do you want to get robbed, sir? Do you want to get robbed? No. Right. I'm pretty sure nobody else around here wants to get robbed neither. But I guarantee you people around here that don't want to get robbed will rob somebody. You want to get killed? Pretty sure there's people around here that don't want to get killed, but they will kill somebody. You want somebody sleeping with your lady? Pretty sure there's somebody around here that don't want nobody sleeping with their lady, but they'll sleep with yours. Watch this, read. This is the book of Leviticus. Another law. Chapter 19, verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Every single person that live around here is brothers That's and sisters. Right. God said you shall not hate your brother in your heart. In order to live in a place called the projects, the trap, where it's a bunch of dope, baby mamas, baby daddies, and guns being towed around, you have got to 100% hate your people. That's right. That's the only way that works. How else do we explain we only shoot each other? Only shoot each other. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Name one gang member or gun toter that came around here and went up into them white people neighborhoods and shot them hey, around. Bring that out. Bring it out. Name one of them that went over there and sold dope to white people. That's or right. Chinese people, maybe. Maybe some Jewish people. How about some Arab people? Right. They don't do it to those people. They know better than to show up over there, but they do it to themselves. That's why I said, in order to do that in the projects, you got to hate your people. That's right. How else do you, how else do you make it a, 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 a life? The culture is to murder each other. That's right. That's the culture. Only us have a culture of murder, death, and destruction. Just us. Nobody else. Everybody else want to put their kids through school. Been taught that. Yeah, guess what? I've, I've been taught, I was taught growing up that men and women were equal. That don't mean I gotta believe that, because I know for a fact, me and my wife are not equal. I can pick up that car if I live hard enough. With all of her might, she couldn't pick up that car. Right. I'm not emotional. I'm not gonna start crying because I watch a movie, but she will. Babies don't maneuver me. My kids walk up to me, Dad, can I have some candy? Nah, man, eat your dinner. My wife, Mom, can I have some candy? Okay, you just so cute. We not the same. That's right. We not equal. I know that, but the whole world teaches that. It's up to me to believe it. Just because you taught it don't mean you got to believe it. I can teach you. Excuse me, sir. That grass is purple. I just taught you that. Is it purple, sir? No. Right. It's that simple. Just because we were taught a bunch of things don't mean we got to follow that nonsense. Bring it out. It is learned behavior. But we know where the learned behavior come from. It come from that white man. That's but guess what? We, fight. we know, who, which of us don't know that the entertainment industry is ran by white people, specifically Jewish people? Which one of us don't know that? So why the hell are we riding around here listening to Young Dolph, Lil Uzi Vert, 21 Savage? Why are we listening to that stuff when we know white people perpetuate that stuff to us? That's right. 
because we foolish. We like the dumb stuff. Right. Because the Bible teaches uh, accountability and responsibility, order, discipline, and black people hate to be disciplined. Discipline is too hard. Yeah. Getting a job is too hard. Working is too hard. Taking care of my babies is too hard. Laying down with only one woman, just one, and taking care of her is too hard. I'd rather lay down with a hundred women, push dope, and, you know, shoot people. That's easy. It don't require no work at all. Right? Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. What the men around here are supposed to be doing is telling these kids running around here, because there's kids running around here terrorizing the neighborhood. Babies, teenagers, terrorizing the neighborhood. What you're supposed to do is rebuke them. Hey, man, stop. It's more y'all. It's more y'all than them. I guarantee you, 90% of the neighborhood can't stand what's happening in this neighborhood. I guarantee you. Yep. Most of the people is just regular ass people. Regular people, they get up, they go to work, they go to school, they come back to filth in their community. It's more y'all. If y'all banded together, I guarantee you it would stop. That's right. I guarantee, when we come around, we just a small group of people. When we come around, people move the hell away. That's you right. know why? Because we're not playing with them. Right. And we ain't scared either. They know you, you're going to just have to kill us. That's it, it is what it is. Right. You're just going to have to do it. That's right. It is what it is. Guess what? The Bible says, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. That's so right. That's what I, if I die for reading the Bible, Christ did too. That's right. right. Isaiah did too. That's right. Paul did too. That's right. Many men die for teaching the Bible. I ain't no different. It is what it is. But guess what they do? They move the hell away. They move around. Because if I see you pitching dope, I'm going to call the police. Bring it you out. You need to go to jail. If I see you murder somebody, I'm going to call the police. You need to go to jail. Here's my brothers and my sisters out here. I don't want to see that happening to them. Right. You shouldn't want to see that happen to them. That's right. Nation is men leading by example.